From the glamorous days of P. Diddy's hip-hop mogul empire to the unsettling revelation of being accused of abuse, this is all you need to know about 50 Cent unveils Diddy's mistreatment of Cassie. So, our man Diddy, the big shot in the hip-hop scene, is catching some serious flack for how he's been treating his artists. Kellis and Mace have already called him out, but now Cassie's throwing some legal punches too. And guess what? 50 Cent just spilled the tea on some of Diddy's dirty laundry. It's like a hip-hop soap opera, showing how Diddy's been dodging consequences for mistreating people in his circle. The dude's got a history of shady moves, and now all the artists from the Bad Boy crew are coming for him. Looks like it's time for Diddy to face the music and cough up some consequences. The chickens are finally coming home to roost for Diddy. Let's turn back the clock and dig into Cassie and Diddy's relationship. Back in August 2006, Cassie dropped her album under Diddy's Bad Boy Records. He wasn't just a producer, he even jumped on a remix with rapper Young Jock. Rumors swirled about them being more than business buddies in 2007, especially when Cassie became the face of Diddy's fashion label, Sean John. It wasn't until 2012 that they officially spilled the beans during Kanye West's Paris Fashion Week show. Fast forward to 2018, and things got messy with a heated showdown in LA. Diddy and Cassie officially called it quits in October 2018, but Cassie dropped a bomb in December with an Instagram post showing her booed up with her personal trainer. Now, the wild part kicks in. Cassie recently threw a curveball, filing a lawsuit against Diddy with serious accusations like rape, physical abuse, and control issues. The legal roller coaster began on November 16th, and just a day after Cassie dropped these heavy accusations, they surprisingly settled. Cassie mentioned she plans to address the issue in her own way, and Diddy sent some warm wishes. The lawsuit detailed a decade of alleged abuse, with Cassie claiming Diddy raped and assaulted her when she was 19. Despite settlement details being under wraps, Cassie's lawyer applauded her for speaking out. Before settling, Diddy's lawyer dismissed the lawsuit as lies and claimed Cassie demanded a whopping $30 million, calling it blackmail. According to the lawsuit, Diddy was running the show in Cassie's life, from finances to medical records. An MRI allegedly showed memory loss due to Diddy's physical aggression and the pills he pushed her to take. In 2016, Cassie tried to cut ties with Diddy, resulting in a wild situation that involved the cops. She didn't press charges due to fear of Diddy's unpredictable nature. The lawsuit revealed Diddy's alleged repeated physical abuse, painting a grim picture that drew parallels to Ike and Tina Turner. And the story doesn't stop there. But it's not just Cassie. Rumor has it that Diddy's exes, including Kim Porter, faced similar struggles. Even his former bodyguard, Gene Deal, has backed up these claims. There's talk that Diddy made life tough for Kim Porter to connect with other guys. And when it comes to Cassie, the drama doesn't stop there. Back in 2012, during a break with Diddy, she got involved with Kid Cudi, triggering Diddy's explosive reaction. From threatening to wreck Kid Cudi's ride to going full-on aggressive whenever Cassie talked to another guy, Diddy's behavior is off the charts crazy. Some even say he's downright evil. While Diddy attempts a lovey-dovey rebrand, Cassie's spilling all the crazy details about her wild ride with this controlling star. Have you seen the latest bombshell about Diddy and Cassie? A wild video just surfaced, showing Cassie stressed out, trying to escape from Diddy. It's raising major red flags, and people are demanding a deep dive into this crazy saga. What, what you got to say now? What have you got to say now? You ain't got shit to say when you put your girl on the snack. Baby, yo, babe. I mean, shit getting weird. Come on, baby, it's hot outside you fucking wrapped up in that blanket. Let's go jog on the beach. Diddy isn't just accused of physical fights. He apparently used Cassie in messed up ways, involving her with other guys for his sick thrills. The dark side of the entertainment world is getting exposed, and there are whispers of a secret NYPD investigation. But hold up, it gets crazier. Cassie's making legal moves, and artists from Diddy's label are stepping up in support. Aubrey O'Day and others from Danity Kane are applauding. Cassie's courage, shining a light on the shady sides of the industry. And that's not all. 
Discontent is brewing among artists tied to Diddy's label, accusing him of unfair compensation. Now, with the Cassie drama in the rear view, Diddy's vibe seems to be taking a turn. Recent snapshots show him in Miami, sipping on a drink and having a serious convo. Despite the fallout, Diddy's still juggling business ventures and charity work. Cassie, on the other hand, is keeping a low profile. The roller coaster is far from over, and we're left wondering what's coming up next in this unfolding story. It's a wait and see situation, and things are definitely heating up. 50 Cent is throwing major shade at Diddy amid the recent bombshell accusations. Their long standing feud has resurfaced, fueled by a 2010 radio interview 50 Cent did with DJ Who Kid. In the interview, he spills the tea on Diddy's involvement with Cassie, who later sued him for reprehensible behavior. 50 Cent got explicit pics of Cassie and, being the good friend he is, shared them with Diddy, stirring suspicions about their origin. In a recent Instagram post, 50 Cent hints at more bombshells, criticizing Diddy's swift settlement with Cassie. LOL, he paid that money real quick should have done that before the sharks saw the blood in the water, and here they come in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, every woman he put his hand on. He predicts a countdown expecting revelations from every woman Diddy has been involved with, turning the situation into a feeding frenzy for sharks sensing blood in the water. Recounting an odd encounter where Diddy wanted to take him shopping, 50 Cent issues a cautionary warning about Diddy's true character amidst the drama. As the hip-hop drama unfolds, discussions about 50 Cent's alleged role in Tupac's death gain traction, with 50 Cent actively stirring the pot, expecting a wave of backlash and calls for accountability. It's a tangled web of beef, accusations, and shady revelations in the hip-hop world, and we can't wait to see how this ongoing showdown plays out. These are news. Diddy is now facing two more sexual assault allegations following his settlement with Cassie. Music mogul Sean Diddy Combs is facing new allegations of sexual assault. A woman claims the rapper drugged and sexually assaulted her in New York City back in 1991. He is denying the allegation, but these new claims come exactly one week after Combs settled a separate lawsuit involving his ex-girlfriend Cassie, who accused him of sex trafficking, rape, and domestic abuse. Guess what's heating up the internet? Diddy, yes, that Diddy, is in the hot seat again. A mysterious woman, Jane Doe, just dropped a lawsuit bomb Claiming that way back in 1990 or 1991, Diddy and R&B crooner Aaron Hall allegedly crossed the line at Hall's place. Talk about a blast from the past. And get this, the timing is wild. It's right on the edge of the New York Adult Survivors Act deadline. Jane Doe spills the tea, alleging that after a shindig at MCA Records, things got sketchy when Diddy and Hall got flirty and handsy. The saga unfolds at an after-party where Jane Doe claims she was coerced into an intimate encounter with Diddy, while her friend faced a similar ordeal with Hall. Days later, the drama escalates when Diddy supposedly shows up at Jane Doe's place, angry and allegedly assaulting and choking her. But wait, Diddy's camp is waving the big fat lie flag, calling it a money grab and suggesting famous folks are easy targets for accusers. The internet, of course, is buzzing with speculation wondering if this might finally be the end of Diddy's behind-the-scenes saga. One person said this could be the beginning of the end for Diddy. Another comment inspired even more individuals to raise their voices and share their stories. It went like this. This is why it's so important for men and women to speak up. Cassie opened doors for others to speak up and say something. Who cares if they get a settlement or not speak up more? Victims are possibly left with years of PTSD, monsters should not be covered. As we dig into the tangled web of controversies surrounding Diddy, it's clear this story's just getting started. From Cassie's legal battles to 50 Cent's warnings, Diddy's life unfolds like a gripping drama, and the plot thickens. Bad Boy Records president, Harve Pierre, faces serious accusations of sexual assault. In true 50 Cent style, he couldn't resist trolling with a suggestion for a docu-series titled Surviving P. Diddy. As the saga unfolds, it's not just gossip. It's a reflection of an industry grappling with power dynamics and accountability. What's your take on 50 Cent's revelations about Diddy's mistreatment of Cassie? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. The story's far from over.